is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. All right, I guess I'm going to just tell you. You're not going to believe it, though, but I played guitar for Alice Cooper in concert. <laughs> I did. For real. This is a true story. I played guitar for Alice Cooper in concert. Now you're thinking to yourself, wait a second, Scott, you can't even you can't even play an MP3 player correctly, right? Just about. Uh, I have a hard time playing um, Spotify, but I can play a record. Yeah, I can do that. But all that aside, um, two weeks ago, two weekends ago, me and one of my friends from college, we're, we're still really good friends, we went down to the coast to see Alice Cooper, and it was spectacular. I can't tell you how much fun we had. We were able to get on the very front row. It was all, you know, where people stand, and we were standing against the front of the stage, you know, hand on the stage kind of thing, uh, center section. Alice Cooper right here. Um, we had Nita Strauss right here, Tommy Hendrickson right here unstinking believable and then they would switch you know and you'd have ryan roxy here i mean it was just great all that to say that at one point during the show tommy hendrickson played a lot kind of right in front of us and he would do his solos he would do his his uh riffs and stuff right there seriously in fact it got he got so close that that he would reach out and just hand me a guitar pick uh, in fact i got lots of cool loot from this show i got a an, one of my my records of alice cooper autographed um, see, I got, I got the, the dollar bill. He comes out singing Billion Dollar Babies, and he's got a sword with dollar bills all stuck on it. That's why there's a hole in the middle of it there. Got the picks from Tommy. So, I mean, it was just a great night. We had a lot of fun. Tommy Hendrickson is right in front of me, and he's, he took his guitar, and he held it like this. And he had his fingers on the fretboard. He had his other hand kind of down under the guitar, and he pointed at my hand and then pointed to the, the strings. Pointed at my hand, pointed to the strings, and he held the guitar right in front of my face. So what did I do? I leaned right up there and I did the, the strum and he would do the he would do the frets and I strummed it. And Alice is standing over here singing schools out for summer. Schools out forever. And I'm over here playing the guitar part behind him. I just thought that was the coolest thing. So nice of him to let me have the opportunity to do that. It was fun. Not that I knew anything about what I was doing. I could keep the rhythm of the song, but you know, it, to me it was a big deal. What a great metaphor for how we allow God to use us as instruments. You know, God has made you an individual instrument. He has made you and I so different, so individual, that someone out there can hear the music that he plays through our life and it touched someone else. That's our whole purpose for being here, is to serve him, to love him, to serve, the, uh, serve others and love others. That's why we're here, to play the music of God and to be a, a joy to his ear and to the ear of someone else out there that needs to hear what it is that he wants them to hear. And we do it very similar to what happened when Tommy held his guitar out for me. We allow him to hold us in his hand and he holds us out for all to see, and then he controls, I mean, he, he's the one that controls our steps. He's the one that, that tells us who we are and what we do, and he is the vine, and we are the branches, right? So as he is, is, is playing the song, we are living the music behind all of the stuff going on in this concert of life. The arena is packed with people. It's standing room only. They all need to hear the music, and God has got it out there for them to hear. It's just up to us to take the initiative. Because when that guy first pointed at my fingers and pointed at his strings, I'm thinking, wait a minute, what the heck is he doing? Is he, is he really want? Listen, I want you to know that God is pointing at you, and he wants you to play his song. He wants you to play it. He wants you to play his music for all the others to hear. Don't be confused about that. Don't wonder, well, maybe God will use me. Yes, he does. You may not necessarily know what the notes are going to be. <laughs> I didn't know how to play those frets. But he wants you to play the song. And if you will just surrender control of your instrument to him, let him play the notes, you simply open up and sing the song that God wants you to sing. Then you will find people all around you will dance.